Luke chapter 10, verse number 17 to verse number 20. The Bible says, And the servant returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, look, I give unto you power to trade on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and no thing and no thing no thing shall by any means hurt you notwithstanding this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. So this whole month I'll be talking about the believer's authority. Are you hearing me? The what? The believer's authority. Authority is a very important word when it comes to the scriptures, although culturally, especially in Australia, people don't like to hear that word because there's a general rebellion against anything that's authoritative. There's a general rebellion against power. But you see, power is good. It's only bad if it is used wrongly. Amen. If it's used to achieve the right things, the right results, power is good. Yes. Who does not want to have power? I've never ever met anybody who doesn't want to have power. Even your two-year, your two-year-old child. Amen. They love power. <laughs> I'm telling you. They will show you an attitude <laughs> for telling them to stop what they want to do. Amen. Like, who are you to tell me to stop? <laughs> they will throw tantrums. They are trying to claim a bit of some power. They will, from, they will go, fall on the ground, throw tantrums, and they make sure they are doing it when it's in the public. Because they know if it's in the bedroom, there's five for the ministry. <laughs> or two for This is two for This is a five for But they do it in the public. Because they know there's nothing you can do. You're going to give in to their demands. Is that making sense? Yeah, because it's just a general thing in a man. To have power. It's just a general thing to have authority. To control your destiny. To control your future. That's why people have to find power somewhere, somehow. By which they can be doing what they want to do. Because this authority thing is inborn in every person. Why is it inborn? It is inborn because it was designed to be in you by creation. Oh yes. When God thought about creating a human being. He also put in him capacity to hold authority and use authority. It's a thing that is in you, designed by the creator. When God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness, let them have dominion. So already their problem has already been created. Without even you thinking about it, it was designed in you to want to have power, to want to have dominion. Right way or wrong way, good way or bad way, oh, yes. the thing is in you, you want it. That's why there is a crusade today. 
against men. There's a crusade, not in this church outside. The Me Too movement oh, yes. rising up against authority of men. I was watching a clip yesterday. This lady, she was saying, men are useless. We don't need them. We can do without them. In fact, science now can create a baby in the womb using the bone marrow of the woman. But the only problem is it will only be females who will be born. So I thought, I thought to myself, look at now that kind of thinking. Yes. It's, it's about authority. Amen. Why? Because they look at men as authoritative figures. So they want to break that authority to run amok. To run free. It's about authority. There's nothing else but authority. That's why every man who tries to be a man in this culture, in this generation, they will fight him. Why? Because of that thing called what? Authority. They want men to be sheepish. They want men to be powerless, authorityless. They want to be men to be womanish. If you try to be authoritative, you are called names. Male chauvinist, misogynist, even Julia, Julia Gillard, yes. she called Kevin Rudd. He's a misogynist. I'm talking about Julia Gillard, who was in a position of power as the prime minister. She still calls another one. A misogynist. It's about authority. It's nothing else about, about from what? Authority. Hey. The world is in trouble. Why? Because what they don't understand is that there is divine order which has been put by Jehovah God. Amen. These things have to function by authority. It's a divine order. As long as he said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion. There has to be authority somewhere, somehow. Amen. And I've always, in my mind, to be honest with you guys, I've always thought Australia was the most democratic country. But I learned during the pandemic that Australia is the most authoritarian regime you can ever find on earth. Yes, amen. Those people you call police, they're the most brutal individuals you can ever meet. There was a season when they were allowed to do whatever they thought. Oh, yes. oh my God. Oh, my God. I've oh, yes. never seen animalistic brutality. Yes. They were more brutal than even the most dictatorship country in Africa. The so-called Australian police. The so-called the uh, civilized. Those shop owners, when you try to go to their shop, when you don't have the Jewish. Yes. <laughs> now someone is thinking, what is this Jewish now? <laughs> they will chase you. You are not allowed to enter our shop. They knew they are breaking human rights principles. Yes. They knew it. But all the other time they pretended to be people who defend human rights. Until the law was removed. So their own instincts came up. Yes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. How can you discriminate against your friends simply because the government says you should discriminate? Mm -hmm. Where is your conscience? 
Where it's exactly what the Germans did. Because the leader said to do it. They went ahead and do it. Not because, not because, now I'm telling the truth, not because the leader said it. The thing was in them. They were capable of doing it. They were restrained by not having the order to do it. Where was their conscience? You can't do what is not in you. Amen. So all that policy brutality. If it was, if the policeman was not brutal, then he wouldn't have been capable of brutalizing anybody. Amen. I know you didn't hear what I said. Oh, following, the reason why they did it is because they are, they are beasts. Animals. In uniforms. Amen. Restrained by the law. When that law was removed, the Anim the animalistic instincts manifested in them. Hey, the way I watch I watch this clip, the this is just a young girl. They held her by the neck, picked her by the neck, and impaled her against the wall. Mm. Simply because she said, "I will not wear the nappe in my mouth." I was almost removing the nappy from the videos there. I mean, I mean, that was the sign of the season. Thank God it's behind us. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. There was no logic. There was no relevance. There was no scientific proof it worked. Amen. Even the Jewish, they said if you take the Jewish, you want to be, you want to catch it. And you want to transmit it. You caught it. They said, uh, <clears throat> you need the extra Jewish. You transmitted, hey, we need extra Jewish. But the more the Jewish came in, the more people caught it, the more people transmitted it. Oh, yes. And then they said, ah, no, this is the pandemic or the unvaccinated. I said, no, that's nonsense. It's not. It's the pandemic or the Jewist. But the whole thing is about power play. Being able to control the masses. Oh, yes. I don't hear what I'm saying. And anybody who dared to challenge them, they deplatformed them. Removed yeah. them from YouTube. Removed them from Facebook. Removed them from Twitter. It's about power. Oh, yes. So I better encourage you today. You better have more of it. Because you shall need it one day. I'm telling you. So as the Christians, if you're going to put your head in the sand, thinking that things will happen in another way, you are cheating yourself. Because the enemy, the adversary, the devil is after power. That's why when, when, when Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden, remember God says, let us make man in our image. Let them have what? dominion. He gave them the power. He gave them the authority. He gave them the control. The devil goes, um, I needed that thing. I needed it. So he comes to Eve. Does a few negotiations. Because he knows he can't come directly to this one. Because the weakness of this one is this one. I'll leave that alone. That's for, by the way, by the way, by the way, I'm planning to do a marriage seminar. Oh, yes. Wow, wow, wow. By the way, this month, by the way, on the, when is it? On the 21st of October. Only, only, only when my wife confirms. Amen. 21st. She's checking the calendar. If she says, if she says no, it's a no. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> power. Someone say power. power. You know, my speech, your father told me, he said, son, listen. I said, yeah, I'm listening, dad. He said, my son, be careful of the power of a woman. 
Amen. I said, hey, daddy, <laughs> what are you talking about? He said, son, the power of a woman. So I said, can you go deeper? <laughs> so he went deeper. And my eyes were opened. Go deeper, <laughs> No, no, not today. Today, today I'm talking about the authority of a believer. <laughs> not, not, not the power of a woman. <laughs> that's, that's for the marriage seminar. All right, we'll come back to that, the, the dead thing. But. So, so, the devil managed to take authority and power from Adam and Eve. From that day, the devil began to rule. What he desired is what was happening. What he spoke is what took place. What he declared is what happened everywhere was in charge. Now, you need to understand, now God is in a big predicament. He needs to wrestle the power back from the hands of the devil and put it back in the hands of people. Now, someone say now. The problem was, anybody who was already under that power could not wrestle the power from the devil. It had to be someone who is outside the power and above that power to wrestle the power from the devil. So as powerful as Moses was, he, he himself, he could walk in the power. But only with the help of an external force. That is God. Because God was outside the power and the dominion of the devil. So God could intervene because he was not under. So he had to empower Moses. So Moses came did things, but when Moses died, God is stuck. Yes. He has to start all over again in another guy called Joshua. When Joshua died, you see, that was tragedy. Because then after the book of Joshua, what do you find? Judges. It's no longer Moses, Joshua, to the next guy. There was something wrong somewhere, somehow, in terms of the transfer of that power. Because then we switch to judges. And then the whole country goes into crazy times. God is forgotten. God is lost in the narrative until, until a woman said, God, let's do a deal. You give me a son. I'll give you a prophet. Someone said the power of a woman. <laughs> Are you hearing me? God said, ah, I love this deal. I should give you what? A son. And you give me what? A prophet. Let's do the deal. So the Bible says, in those days, the word of the Lord was rare. In other words, God had been forgotten. There was no revelation of God whatsoever until Samuel was born. So he was born, and then he wields the authority again. But when he died, no successor. His own children, disastrous, scandalous. The power ended again. So you can see the problem that God had. It's about wrestling authority back from the devil back into the hands of man. None of them could take the power permanently and be able to give it to everybody. No, it was either the next person that he has groomed and raised up and imparted the grace in that life. That's why the Bible says Joshua had the spirit of wisdom. Why? Because Moses had laid his hands on him. And even God himself, when he wanted to appoint other leaders besides Moses, he came down 
Ah, that verse, that verse disturbs me. How can God Almighty come down? Go in Moses, dip his hand in Moses, and take the spirit inside Moses and begin to share to other people what was special the spirit of Moses. It was the spirit of dominion, of power, of authority. I God coming down, dipping his hand in Moses and tapping that spirit. And carrying it. Now there were some few people who were not where God was doing the stuff. They were in the camp. Are you hearing me? The Bible says God threw it there. Okay, you'll not find that version in the Bible. <laughs> but when it hit them in the camp, the Bible says they began to prophesy in the camp. And then some young men had to run. Moses, Moses, there are some people there prophesying in the camp. God, I'm telling you, this God, as powerful as he is, he gets himself into some difficult positions because of the way he operates. He does not violate principle. He is bound by the principle. Until he had to send Jesus into the world. Now, when Jesus came into the world, he meets the devil face to face. Someone say authority. authority. It's about a power. I'm telling you, it's about what? Authority. They met face to face. Adam and Eve lost the power in the garden of Get of, of Eden. They lost it there. But Jesus had to get it back in the wilderness. They lost it in a cause environment. Jesus had to get it back in a, an arid environment. Dry. Nothing. They lost it by eating. Jesus had to get it back by not eating. Yeah. So, the devil finds him and says, listen, worship, just worship me. Oh, this power has been given to me. He doesn't say who gave it to him. He says it has been given to me. I give it to anybody I want. Just worship me. Yes. I'll give it to you. Jesus says, no, 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 no. That's not the way. That's not the way. Because if I follow your way, I'll come under. So the, the moment I come under, I can't dethrone you. Amen. I can't. So Jesus refuses. He says, the way for me to wrestle this power away from you is through the cross. Through the cross. I'm going to go through the cross. I'm going to die because now you are wielding the power of death. Using it as a tool of control. Controlling people because of death. I'm going to die your death. Now when I die your death, I'm going to meet you the other side of death. That's where you and me, we're going to handle each other. It's about authority. Nothing else but authority. So after that day, because the devil failed to conquer Jesus, Jesus started walking in power. That's what the Bible says. And Jesus retained. Huh? Retained. In the power of the spirit. He went into the wilderness full of the spirit. But returned in the power of the spirit. So when Jesus was going into the wilderness. He carried the fullness of the Holy Ghost in him. He was walking. The Holy Ghost was in him. When he was coming from the wilderness. The Holy Ghost carried Jesus. Oh yes. Amen. He returned in the power of the Spirit. Oh my God. But you see, you see now, you see now why, why, why this is important. When Jesus broke through at that level, uh -huh, he could only impart to a few people. It wasn't available for all. That's where now this scripture comes in where I've read for you. He picks 72. He says, I'll give you, I'll give you what? I give you power 
Over what? Scorpions? Serpents? And what? Over all the power of the enemy. Now, today I'm just introducing the subject. I've got the whole month. The key thing that I want you to understand from today is that those words of power there are not the same. Give me the verse again. Luke 10, 19. The first power, the first power in Greek is exosia. E-X-O-U-S-I-A. E-X-O-U-S-I-A. Which means a privilege or a capacity or freedom or mastery or magistrate or influence. We're talking about delegated influence, right? Or authority. So there are so many words. Privilege or force or capacity, or freedom, or competency, or magistrate, or token of control, or delegated influence. But all that falls under this one word, authority. He says, I am giving you authority over, over what? Serpents and scorpions. And then over all the power. The word power there, the second power, is not exosia. It's another one. It's now dynamis. Which means force or ability or abundance. Force or ability or abundance or miraculous power. Miraculous power or strength or violence. Okay, give me some of those words. Uh huh. What are they? Abundance, force, ability, miraculous power, strength, huh? violence, or wonderful work. So Jesus says, I am giving you authority over. Now, I want to understand the key word there. Authority of authority is always over. Over something. Over something. Over something. Are you hearing me? Authority is always what? Over something. Because authority elevates you to a place where you must be listened to. Authority elevates you to where you must be what? Listened to. When you say move, the thing you spoke to must move. Yes. When you say jump, yes. the thing you spoke to must jump. Because you are dealing with authority. Whilst the other one, dynamis, deals with ability. Doing things. You are able, you are capable. You have got capacity to do something. So the devil has got capacity to make someone sick. He's got the capacity. But someone with authority does not need to be a medical doctor to reverse it. Someone with authority can just come and say, hey, what are you doing here? Pack up your sickness and go. Amen. It's nothing to do with the medical know-how. It's nothing to do with an ability of how to do it. It's everything to do with your command. Oh, yes. Being able to command and whatever you commanded must obey. Oh, yes. Someone say authority. authority. You see, so that's why that verse is very important. Jesus gave them what? Authority over serpents, over scorpions, 
and over what? All the ability. So in other words, the devil there is still allowed to do things. He is still allowed you to do things. But you are authorized to reverse it. <laughs> hey! Say hey. never. Your life it begins today. Your life begins today. You see, what makes people become depressed is a sense of powerlessness. What brings despair in people is a sense of powerlessness. What brings people to where they are saying, I can't live anymore one day. It's a sense of powerlessness. Imagine if they knew they could reverse what the devil is doing. Imagine if they knew they could change their circumstance. Imagine if they knew that even if you lock someone up in a grave, they're going to come out of that grave. Imagine if they knew it. Imagine if they knew that if you fire them from this job tomorrow, they'll get another one. And if they can't find a job, they'll create a job themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine a life of limitless possibilities. Yeah. It's hidden behind authority. Someone say authority. authority. It's all hidden behind there. It's all hidden behind authority. Imagine being able to change circumstances. Imagine when the devil says, now I've cornered you. What is he using? He's using the wall to put you into a tight space. Imagine at your word, if you said the wall behind me, can you collapse? Amen. And then the wall collapses. Oh, yeah. What does that mean? You are no longer in a corner. Oh, you're not hearing me. Imagine he puts in a place where there's no way out. He's like, yeah, yeah, I got it. There's no way out. Imagine you are there and then you are saying, no, 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 not this breed. This breed does not need a way. It creates the way. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Jesus comes on the shore. Every person is gone. There are no boats there. But he must go to the other side. He looks at the water. <laughs> Say, what? Say, yeah, you. From now, I command you, sustain my weight. Oh, yes. <laughs> Receive it! It's about authority. I'm telling you. It's about authority. Because all this nature, all this creation, can I go one level deeper? I've discovered a secret. God uses creation a lot, whether for good or for bad. The children of Israel, they were in Egypt in bondage. What did God use to deliver them? Do you know that behind every miracle there was creation? Uh huh. Snakes are what? Creation. The rod of Moses? Creation. Water turning to blood? Creation. Says Moses, I want these guys to have boils, take soil, throw it in the air. Creation. Hell? Creation. Animals? Creation. Frogs? Creation. Oh, you're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. Even parting the Red Sea, the Bible says God used the east wind, which is creation. He spoke to creation. East wind. Where, where, what is the source of east wind? The nose of God. East wind. Not west, not south. Not, I'm talking about east wind. Its source is the nostrils of God. He just blows it. <laughs> He uses creation. I'm telling you. He uses what? That's why we now. Oh. No, that is too deep. I'll leave that alone. 
because of time. Some say neighbor. Because of time. Some say authority. Do you know that God wants you to have absolute authority? An equation of authority. Irresistible dominion. Do you know that that's the plan of God for your life? That's, I think, that's exactly what God wants for you. That's why he never created a female Holy Ghost. We receive the same Holy Spirit. Whether, whether your body is male or your body is female, but we all get the same powerful Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the living God. He wants both males and females to walk in authority. So, in other words, there are secrets behind authority that I'll be uncovering in this month of October. You see, you've seen some clips of deliverance. Media team, can you upload one or two? When it's ready, you tell me. Demons being cast out. Yes. That guy, is it Mark? I met, I, I met Mark. Yes. You saw it? Yes. I met Mark. I'm like, Mark, you are here. He's like, I'm here, Papa. I'm like, so Mark, talk to me. Have demons stopped buggering your sleep? He's like, no, they are no longer buggering my sleep. Now I can sleep like a baby. But wow. Mark, I met Mark. But there's one testimony, it hasn't been raised yet. I met, a, I, I delivered a girl. There's a girl I delivered in. That girl, I met her when I was in Port Mosby. The mother said, listen, you never knew about this girl. This girl, we nicknamed her the tomboy. The girl is masculine. Not only in the doings, but in the power. When she gets angry, nobody would stand. The mother said, you don't know what deliverance you brought to this family. Oh. Now the devil's delivering her. Huh? She went on stage and picked up big, that big speaker. Picked it up in the air like this. Wanting to throw it. Huh. You were there? You were there? You saw it? So I, I mean, I had to use authority now. I said, stop that nonsense. Put it down. So she put it down. Oh. I, was, I, was, I was at the back. I was literally at the back. She was now, she had walked away in front. She was doing those. I said, come back here. I stood, so I said, come back here. Until she came. Someone say authority. authority. I'm telling you, authority is good. <laughs> authority is good. So what made our politicians go crazy is authority. All of a sudden, they discover that when you say something, everyone follows. I'm telling you, if they had said everybody from today, that time the pandemic, Everyone should wear and their underwears in their head. <laughs> Believe you me. You ask them, so why are you wearing They said we should wear it. <laughs> why is it doing that? They said we should wear it. Just shut up and just do it. <laughs> but there are a few people who understand authority. <laughs> that I don't have to give in to your nonsense. I don't have to obey your stupidity. Are you hearing me? You say, I am an authority in myself. Uh-uh. 
I've got a king. He's Jehovah. What he says is what I do. If your law is taking me away from his authority, I'm not going to comply. I'm not going to give in. I'm not going to do it. I'll do the opposite. And even stupid Christians, they come and say, no, but the Bible says we have to obey those who are in authority. What nonsense was that? What nonsense was that? As long as they are using the authority to promote Jehovah God, yes, we're going to obey. But as long as they are not promoting Jehovah God, they are promoting another agenda. I will not comply. I will not follow it. I will not, in effect, I will take them down from that position. (laughs) Say yeah. Say neighbor. Hey. So we're gonna pray for the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Oh yes. The apostle Paul says, "Sins ahead of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto the saints." Cease not to give thanks for you. Make mention of it in my prayers. That the God of our Lord Jesus was the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the sitting greatness of his power to us what who believe. According to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ, and he set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above. It's about authority, this whole thing. Far above. Someone say far above. Far above. It's about authority. How do you want me to tell? It's about authority. Far above all what? All power. All principality. Far above all dominion. Far above every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And has put all things under. It's about authority. Oh, yes. Has put all things under his feet. Ha. Huh. Someone say, ha. Ha. It's about authority. This whole stuff we are dealing with, it's about authority. Who has got power? Who can dominate? Who can command and things follow? Oh, yes. It's about authority. You think Jesus would have done what he did if he didn't have authority? What makes us think that we can do the works of Christ without having authority? If he himself, the master, had to give these guys authority, over serpents, over scorpions, over all the ability of the devil. He gave them authority over them. So they were able now to rule. Wherever they found the devil, they said, exit. You need to go home and practice. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Do it. (laughs) 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 Ha ha! yes! Streams International Prophetic Church. Transforming lives by the power of prophetic revelation. Your lives will never be the same again. Please remain connected at www.streams.org.au Until next time, Shalom.